Okay, what I want to crack on now with is doing some basic input and output. Um, we've created our tables, we've created our database. Um, now we want to start inputting information in there. Um, and in order to do that, you just use the command insert. Um, the good thing about SQL is it's actually quite similar to just normal human conversation. Um, so you say insert into, they need to specify the, the name of the table. So we're going to be inputting some pupil information here. Insert into pupil table. Um, now you could, if you were going to enter in all the different information, so if you're going to enter in the the ID as well as the um, the pupil name and the pupil date of birth, you wouldn't need to specify what fields are going to. But we we're auto incrementing, so the database is creating that ID automatically for us. Um, so what we need to do is we will we won't put anything into the pupil ID because the computer does that for us. So we're going to have to specify pupil name and pupil date of birth, and we do that using brackets like this. So we do pupil pupil name and then pupil dob and then just put in values and now in brackets now the important thing here is to use um, quotation marks so we've done pupil name pupil db values I'm um, thinking of pupil name we're going to call him Henry Henry's a good name for a pupil uh, and then you need to put your second value which is going to be his date of birth um, now with dates of birth you need to put them in in reverse va um, value so you put in the year first, so 2005, um, and we'll say he was born on the 5th of May. Um, just making things up here, it doesn't really matter, just dummy variables. Um, then just seal that off with um, a semicolon as usual, and there we go, query OK, one row affected. And in order to, to, to output the information from that, you just type in select, and you put in an asterisk here. Um, asterisk basically means everything, it's shorthand for everything. So you're saying select everything from pupil table get that out of the way and there we go that's Henry Henry's now been entered into that table um, got he name Henry pupil date of birth 2005 um, 5th of May uh, now the good thing here this is where the, the this text file thing sort of comes into its own because rather than entering in information uh, over and over again what we can do is put all the information here as a bit of a list and then just execute the um, the text file from the command line and it all goes in at once. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But anyway, we're going to insert into pupil table um, pupil name pupil pupil dob values um, call him Roger um, and he was born in 2005 as well but he was born slightly earlier he was born on the the 4th of February, another fictional person. Uh, and once again, we'll save this, save that into, are we still in bin? Yeah, we're still in bin, so we'll say insert P-U-P-I-L-S, insert pupils. And now we'll just go down here and we'll say sort, sort source, all fingers and thumbs this morning. Uh, insert pupils in it goes and we'll just do select everything from pupil table and there we go Roger's in there as well um, now see the good thing about this is you can now if we're gonna put in lots of information we can just copy that and then just do a copy and paste job there and now we can just go in here and we can put all different names in. Um, what should we call the next chap? We'll call him Freddy. Um, we'll call, we'll have a girl now, shall we? Let's call her, I don't know, Mary. Mary. Uh, call another one. This is just dummy data, it doesn't matter what we put in here. Clementine. Um, call another one, I don't know, Harry. Uh, another girl's name. Um, I don't know. Um, I can't think of any names right now. Uh, but that's enough. We'll just we'll we'll keep it down to six. We'll take out those two. But we could go further if we wanted to. But six people is enough for dummy data. And we'll just put in a few more dummy dates of birth. In fact, we'll have someone born in two thousand and four. One of the old pupils in the year. Um, he was born in. I don't know. Tenth. Born the ninth of October. Um. We'll do somebody on the 17th of March. 
as I say, just dummy data. Um, 6th, no, we'll do the 12th of June. And this person here was born on New Year's Day. Um, so we'll just save that. And the good thing is here, we can just press that up button. Um, source, insert pupils. There we go. Insert it in there. So now we go select the from from pupil pupil table. God, where are my fingers going? There we go. We got we got enough dummy data to be getting on with. So we've got six pupils in there with their relevant dates of birth. Uh, one one thing you can do when selecting things is you can actually order it in a certain way. So you can do select all from pupil table and you can do order by and if you want to do I don't know pupil date of birth we can get them all in the DOB obviously before it did it automatically by by their pupil ID um, that was just automatic as it does um, here it's doing it by pupil date of birth we could do it um, alphabetically by the, the by their names so we could say select all from pupil table order by pupil name and there we go that's all in alphabetical order um, but it doesn't really matter for now anyway we've, we've got the pupil table done and sorted out so we might as well crack ahead and insert information into um, into the fruit table so just to remind ourselves what's in that fruit table we'll do describe fruit ta fruit table and that tells us what's in there. All we've got is the fruit ID and the fruit name. So it's going to be quite simple. Insert into fruit fruit table. Um, now we need to specify where it's going to go. It's going to go into fruit name. Um, values. I think we always use the plural even though it's just one value. And we'll do orange. So that's what was it? Orange. As before, we're being lazy, so we'll just copy this. Why make work for yourself? And we can do orange and apple, bana banana, and mango, and pear. So there's a bit of dummy data to play around with. We'll do file, save as, make sure it's in bin, and we'll say insert fruit, fruit, and we'll just go source, insert fruit, there we go, and select all from fruit table, there we go, we now have five different fruits, and we've got six different pupils, so in the next lesson, we can go ahead and we can start looking at, this. because snack is an intermediate table, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, but for the time being, that's just that just goes to show how to do basic input and basic output of information into tables um, using insert and using select. Um, so yeah, next, next one we'll, we'll crack on and we'll start putting information into the snack table as well.